the last one sister now assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh wa alaikum assalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you brothers for uh, for a very good lecture i just have a question about uh, the parents rights over the children the parents right now yeah i know that you should uh, you should follow you should listen to your parents when whatever whatever they ask you you should do what the, whatever they tell you but when it comes to sunnah for example when you want for example you want to grow your beard and they say it's only a sunnah don't do it and they get really really mad mm -hmm. so okay. um, mm. or other typical sunnah muakkada no. can uh, is it right to say that it's not necessary because i've he i've heard some can i call them liberal liberal shiukh who says don't, when it's sunnah you don't have to <laughs> You're laughing. Okay. No. You don't have to follow. Uh, follow it. Zakhama. Just let. Just uh, keep your parents happy. What do you say about it? Okay, sis. Now, if I'm not wrong, the sister is asking that uh, the right of the parents. Of course, Allah said, "Waqada Rabbuka Allah ta'abudu illa iya wa bil walidin ihsana." Allah command you to worship Allah, and after that, you must honor thy parents. But in the same time, the Prophet Sallallahu remind us. When we respect human, even our parent, we cannot respect them in a way to do something displeasing Allah and the Prophet. If our parents stop us from doing something that we must do as a believer, uh, we have no right yeah, to follow and obey them. But the question is very important. Some scholars was asked about how about if a, a, a man or the son now want to keep beard? Is that the question, sister? Yeah? Beard, yeah. They want to keep beard, and now the father or the mother said, "No, no, you must respect us. It's your duty to honor your parent. I disagree. You cannot keep your beard because you look ugly. <laughs> you know, you look older than your father." Hmm? I tell you the story of a beard. Allah gave me this beard. Little beard. Yeah. I want to have the full one, but Allah don't give me the full one. Since I was a Muslim in 1968 until today, this is how much Allah gave me. But one day, when I was still very young in Islam, when I was sitting in a, in a, in a, in a ferry, you know, moving from the island to the mainland. So there's another group of elderly Muslims who are clean safe, you know, clean shaved. You know? And then they look at us, they start to gossip about us. They say, what happened to the young people today? They are so young, but they want to look old, you know. They keep beard, the beard also look like the beard of the, of the what? of the goats. Yeah. So they make some sound. <laughs> now I am I'm not a very patient man before. My family, my friend uh, who knew who am I, they know who am I. I'm not a very uh, patient man before. Normally Last time, we were known as street fighter. <laughs> we are people on the street. Fighting is our hobby. <laughs> but Alhamdulillah, after I enter Islam, Allah give me the patience. But even how patient am I? Now, this guy, this born Muslim, elderly Muslim, if he do not want to keep his beard, that is his problem. Because it's his face. It's not my face. <laughs> but when I want to keep this beard because I know Prophet command me. It's not a sunnah. It's wajib. Because there are a sunnah that is sunnah. There are a sunnah that is wajib. Any command from the Prophet it is no more a sunnah. It's wajib. But if the Prophet just recommend you not a command then it becomes a sunnah. 
There's a difference between sunnah wajib, sunnah sunnah, sunnah adat, sunnah ibadah, sunnah mu'akkad, sunnah gair mu'akkad. There are different types of sunnah. You must understand. A lot of Muslims are so confused about this sunnah. If they say it's sunnah, then it's true. If they don't understand the concept sunnah, it's, uh, it's just a sunnah. The Prophet said, Inna Allaha la yaqbalu tatawwa'a hatta tu'addi farida. Allah will not accept anything that is optional if what is obligatory is not being fulfilled. Honoring your parent is wajib. I give you an example a sunnah. The sunnah prayer after zuhur, example. Or before zuhur prayer, the sunnah qabliya wa ba'diya. If your parents say, don't pray that sunnah. I want you to come to me now. Now, responding to the call of your parents it is more better than performing the sunnah prayer. It's true. You get more reward for that. But if something the Prophet command you, it is the duty of the parent to accept it. By right, the parent should be very, very proud and be thankful to Allah. Now his son loved the the teaching of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You know that the Prophet said, "La yu'minu ahadukum hatta hawahu hatta yakuna hawahu taba'an li majitu bi." You cannot be a true believer until you command your desire to follow my teaching. Now, keeping beard for the man, for the man only woman you cannot keep. Yeah? <coughs> a woman you cannot keep the beard. Now, for the man, the Prophet command you to keep the beard. So what do I say to this man who belittle me with my little beard? I raise up my voice, but I don't shout at him. I talk to my friend. Alhamdulillah, no, we are goats. No, goat you can slaughter for hajj. You can sacrifice. Goat you can eat. You know, goat you can make akika. Alhamdulillah, but people who have no beard. They are like Mr. Pick. They are like Kinzir. Do you find the Kinzir have beard? Have you seen any Kinzir with beard? No. If they have beard, there's no more Kinzir. Now that guy get very upset now. You say that I look like a goat. Alhamdulillah, goat is halal animal. There's no problem. But I say that group, there are people who keep their face, yeah, I mean, clean shape. They are like pig. Now they get very angry now. He said, I'm a goat. I said, that he's a pig. <laughs> and you know, the Muslims don't like to be a pig. <laughs> you know? So, just to be very frank, sister, yeah, it's the duty of the mother, a good mother and a good father, to encourage the boys, the young boy, to keep their beard. May Allah bless you for that. And may Allah give us the patience and the understanding about our deen. Those don't misinterpret sunnah. Not all sunnah is sunnah. There is sunnah that is wajib. And keeping the beard is sunnah wajib. Barakallahu feek. May Allah bless your sister. And I think that's all today for me.